Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Tom Rooney. I hope that you and your families had a great summer and that your kids, like mine, are getting back into the swing of things now that school started. But here's an update on some of the things that happened this week in Congress. In June, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan announced an initiative put together by the House Republican Conference to offer a better way to get America back on track. Speaker Ryan explained that people know what Republicans are against. Now we're going to give you a plan to show you what we're for. Our ambition as House Republicans is a confident America where everyone has the chance to go out and succeed no matter where they start in life. The six plank agenda that we're calling a better way is a new contract with the American people to tackle the problems of today. A better way offers a new plan to change the way we approach poverty, taxes, jobs, national security, health care, and government itself. On poverty, a better way to fight poverty that presents more than 40 bold specific ideas to attack poverty at its roots, to allow all Americans the chance to break the cycle of poverty and improve their lives. On national security, through our better way to keep us safe and free, we outline our plan to keep Americans safe from the threat of radical Islamic terrorism, to strengthen the refugee admissions program, and to support our nation's intelligence, defense, and law enforcement agencies so that they can protect our nation from threats foreign and domestic. On the economy, we offer a better way to grow the economy that cuts down on needless regulations that disproportionately hurt small businesses, makes the rules we do need more efficient and effective, and helps more Americans access affordable college or training in industries that are growing and need new skilled U.S. workers. On healthcare, a better way for all Americans to have access to quality, affordable healthcare, recognizing that people deserve more patient-centered care, not more bureaucracy. On tax reform, we offer a better way to make the tax code simpler and fairer, making it not only easier for you to do your taxes, but making the IRS work for you, not the other way around. On the Constitution, a better way to uphold our Constitution and restore the separation of powers that the Founders insisted upon where Congress writes the laws that we live by. I have heard all across my district about how people are frustrated by divided government in Washington, and rightfully so. So we're offering a better way, a clear and positive vision for what America can accomplish going forward. I invite you to go to better.gop to learn more about the ideas we're using to offer every American the confident future they deserve. Also this week, Harry Reid and the Democrats in the Senate for the third time voted to prohibit a bill providing immediate funding to help the state of Florida and the rest of the country prevent the spread of the Zika virus. Harry Reid and the White House and the Democrats that voted against the bill in the House will all tell you that they voted against the bill because it limits women's access to health care in Puerto Rico and in the states and that it contains provisions that would be harmful to the environment. This is not true. What is true is that the Democrats would be against anything we propose to score political points off a vital need. As Rahm Emanuel used to like to say, never let a good crisis go to waste, and that's exactly what they're doing with Zika. As a reminder, the $1.1 billion bill that House Republicans passed back in June, with only six Democrats voting in support, contains $46 million specifically for Puerto Rico to expand the delivery of primary and pediatric health care services at any one of its 104 public health departments, hospitals, and community health clinics. The bill sets aside $80 million for states like Florida with active or local transmission of Zika and includes language I included, which directs the CDC to provide a robust level of funding to support mosquito control efforts conducted by the state, county, or municipal programs, including mosquito control districts. Finally, the bill would expedite the EPA's approval of proven environmentally friendly mosquito and insect control technologies 
that have already demonstrated results in stopping Zika where it starts, with the mosquitoes themselves. Our communities deserve the truth, and for their elected officials to act responsibly and quickly, not in a way that gets them more headlines. And finally, as I'm sure you're all aware, Sunday will mark the 15th anniversary since the horrific attacks on September 11th, a day I remember like it was yesterday. I was down at Fort Hood, Texas, serving on active duty in the Army with my wife as a captain, and our first son Tommy was only five days old. Like the rest of America and the rest of the world, we were stunned and devastated as we watched terror unfold. Americans will never forget that se September morning, where they were when they learned of the attacks, and how thousands of innocent lives were lost in New York, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon. So Sunday, 15 years later, we'll stand together as a nation to remember the lives that were lost. We'll pray for the families whose lives forever changed that day when they lost their loved ones. And we'll honor the first responders who selflessly rushed in to help those in need, many never to return. We'll honor the men and women in uniform who tirelessly work to ensure Americans remain safe to this day. And we'll continue to do all that we can to prevent another tragedy like this from happening. But most importantly, we'll never forget September the 11th. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. I hope that you and your families have a safe and enjoyable weekend.